Dad, he showed me a picture and he said, man, this is your, this is your real grandmother. I said, man, what the hell are you talking about, my real grandmother? And he said, yeah, man, she was killed back in, you know, back in 1955. And, and I said, what can you tell me about it? He said, oh, man, she just, she was drunk. She said she partied all the time, stayed gone. I said, kind of like you, right? So I started doing some research and uh, I figured my grandpa married her. She must be all right. So... I found out that uh, they lied on the birth certificate. She was only 16 years old. When she was born, it was in the Great Depression, and a guy named Murphy Pitts took her to a liquor house, put her on the front porch, wrapped her up. She was born December 24th, 1929. And so a, a, a blind lady named Jane Powers that ran a liquor house she took her in. And so I said, man, I got, I got to find out where this liquor house is. And I found where the liquor house was. And I went out there, and it was gone. Because they burned it down. And that's what they did back then. And believe it or not, the, the, the chief of police was the one that uh, supplied the moonshine. When I was out there, man, I found a little jar. 
Man, anybody got a glass or a little cup I can use? Yeah, give me that bottom cup right there. Now, I'm going to use the cup, but I found this old mason jar out there in the middle of where the house was, and I thought about it. I said, man, because, you know, they used to put the moonshine in the mason jar. And I got my harmonica, I brought it out, and I picked up that mason jar, and I was like, and I started playing into it. It made kind of a little echo. It sounded real lonely. <laughs> 